it's incredible what they do. I mean, over a million young people have... Yeah, I, know have what, how, I know, within a span of 19 years. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and His Majesty, I mean, he really, really does care. I mean, from grassroots up, this is so, so special. Yeah. Uh, and you are going to be on stage today um, presenting an award? Mm-hmm, Anything you can tell us about that? No. Mm. No. I'm just going to keep it close I'm to your chest. Keep it close to my chest. What I will say to you, Stanley, is this is a little bit of a tearjerker. So, I mean, do I you ha do you have your tear? Are you an emotional man? Yeah, I get choked up. Yeah. yeah. Mean, no, this this would be yeah. I have a feeling. I'm going to bring you a little travel pack of tissues because <laughs> I, I I think you might need them. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Well, listen, welcome. We are genuinely so delighted to have you here today. Please do go meet our incredible, inspiring winners and have a wonderful day. And thank you for gracing us uh, today with your presence on stage. Uh, no, thank you. I'm honored to be here. Stanley Tucci. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Now, did you know all the amazing young people who are being celebrated here today started the same way? They all took the first step and got in touch with us. So if you're 16 to 30 and want support to start a career you care about or your own business, the Prince's Trust is on hand. You can contact the Trust by phone at 0800 842 842 or through our website's live chat at princes-trust.org.uk. Right, back to the red carpet, and Ryland is there. Eurovision man, he's here with us. <laughs> he's here with us. Right, how does it feel to be out at the Prince's Trust Awards today? Do you know what? I think after Eurovision coming straight into this, it it's actually feels like a day off. Yeah. It's lovely. Um, I was here last year, and it's just amazing to see everyone back and meet some new people that deserve to be awarded. Now, it's over one million people the Prince's Trust has reached to this day. How does that, how does that figure make you feel? It makes me feel amazing. Let's make it two million. That's, that's how it makes me feel. I mean, people are here to help people, and that's, that's what Prince's Trust is all about, giving young people a good start in life. And there's a lot of young people out there, so let's just keep it going and spread the word and let people know that the Prince's Trust is here. Now, you're a prime example of somebody that can go on an incredible journey and come out the other end, standing <laughs> tall, living the best life. Um, what sort of advice would you give to some of the young people watching them? You know, I was incredibly lucky on X Factor as a young person to get the break that I got. Um, and I know my journey has been a little bit different to most, but everyone deserves a break. Every young person does. And that's exactly what the Prince's Trust is here for. And if you need that break, come and ask us and we'll help you out. It's always a pleasure chatting to you. I love you. I love you more. You're still not grown, have you, Tyler? <laughs> All right, enjoy. Go on. I love him too, actually. Uh, we are, that's, that's another story. We are all here to celebrate the achievements of those amazing young people, but uh, to become a National Prince's Trust Award winner, they first had to be chosen as a country award winner. Here are the winners recognised this year in Northern Ireland. Let's take a look. Here's Motaz. Congratulations, Motaz. Uh, shown incredible resilience in the face of adversity. Since he first arrived in Northern Ireland, he's embraced opportunities to learn through the Prince's Trust and is now well on his way to realising his goal of becoming a dental practitioner. Determined to give back to his community, Motaz also gives his time to help other asylum seekers, even recruiting some of them onto Prince's Trust programmes. Kevin came to the Prince's Trust after he had lived through addiction and the loss of close family members. He was ready to take steps towards the life he wanted. After attending an employability course, he now has a permanent role with m and and a clearer, more positive view of the future. Abir uh, was Delta Airlines Breakthrough Award winner and after moving to Northern Ireland, Abir was linked in with her local job centre. However, she felt as if she was being steered towards jobs and courses that didn't match her interests. She found the Prince's Trust that thrived on the 12-week Youth Start programme and now has her sights set on starting a career she's proud of. After feeling left behind at school, Pierce struggled to engage with, with education. But since having support from the Trust, Pierce has gained eight Level 2 qualifications and has set his sights on becoming a qualified youth worker. After a car accident, Suneva spent two years in recovery, learning to reuse her arm. 
Joining the Enterprise Programme, which helps 18 to 30 year olds explore self-employment, Sineva re rediscovered her flair for creativity and she now runs her own successful photography studio. Prior to joining the team programme, a group of nine young people from Limavadi were disengaged with education and unsure of what to do in life. As part of their community projects, they set up a week-long initiative with a local charity to get people talking about mental health and suicide. Learning valuable teamwork skills along the way, the group have all gone on to succeed in education and work. Here's Gemma, who's the NatWest Enterprise Award winner. Despite a rocky start in life, Gemma realised her own potential after being made redundant during the pandemic. She thrived on the Princess Trust Enterprise Programme, and now she's running a successful, inclusive recruitment company in Belfast called Diverse Talent. Big well done to all of the winners of Northern Ireland and congratulations to all of you guys. So we've heard from Ryland. Let's hear from another Eurovision uh, hero who is Sam Ryder out on the red carpet. Yeah, what was it like? I mean, like last year when we were doing Eurovision, you kind of, you get set up, ready to go from January all the way to the final, you're working on that thing. But this year, we like arrived in Liverpool on the Monday, knowing that the performance is on Saturday. Just so much work to do and you try like getting in the, the whole Eurovision bubble. Um, but man, I couldn't have been happier. The whole team pulled together as they always do. They're always going to like, just like band together with that positivity, that energy, that optimism. And um, yeah, honour to share the stage with such fabulous people. It's literally like Eurovision in like human form walking this red carpet right now. Now listen, the very special event. Michael Bublé, Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> the defrost, Michael... defrost me every May, mate. Defrost him. <laughs> um, no, so look, the special reason that we're out here today for the Princess Trust Awards 2023, um, what's it feel like to be here supporting these young people? Amazing, man. It's what it's all about. Like, And I'm just honoured and privileged to... I get to come here and play some music and just be around like these amazing people creating tangible change in the world. Yeah, so over one million young people the Princess Trust has been able to help. Yeah. How, how does that figure make you feel, man? Overwhelmed. I think it's fantastic. Like... As I always say, like in, in these interviews, talking to you or anyone that's doing good, that using their platform or their time, their energy, their life as a force to, for positive change, you can't look at it with anything else than admiration and respect. And to be invited here is a, a huge honour for me. And it just, yeah, in awe of what these people have achieved and what the institution itself has achieved. Now, you're a you're best example about how your life can change in a, in a space of a year, in a sense. What would you say to some of these young people that are about to go on this journey? Um, I would say just keep centred, like keep it from the heart. You know, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're radiating in the world, um, let it be light. And I mean, we, I think we're going to find out in that venue tonight. It's gorgeous, by the way. We just did a sound check in there. We're going to be surrounded by that absolute optimism and that, you know, just that blazing kind of togetherness and that light. Sam, well, listen, enjoy it. And you're going to be performing as well? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got the honour of doing it, man. I'm Thanks just going to do my absolute best. And uh, like I said, the main thing for me I keep waffling about is just being amongst it, being around these people that are doing great things. It inspires greatness in all of us. Yeah, you're the best. Listen, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much, you bro. Congratulations for your greatness, Thank you, man. bro. I appreciate you. This, man. I appreciate yeah. you, man. I appreciate you. We've all got a bit of a, a bit of a crush on um, on Sam Ryder there, and we can't wait to hear him perform this afternoon at the Princess Trust Awards 2023. Now, if you want to help transform a young person's life, like one of the winners we just heard about, then please visit the website. It's princesstrustawards.org.uk/donate. It's there on the screen. What better way is there to show your support and to help a young person achieve their next steps? Now, Holly Willoughby was just on the red carpet. She's hosted one of our brilliant breakfasts here at the Trust, and that's another way to help the Trust and to set yourself up for the day. Everyone needs a good breakfast by holding a brilliant breakfast for friends and family. You can do it between the 9th and 15th of October. Plenty of time to organise it. The funds your breakfast raises for the Prince's Trust could set up a disadvantaged young woman for life with the skills and confidence to find employment. 
So many of you have been on the socials uh, this afternoon. We're going to just go to those and read a few of them out. Don't forget, if you want to tweet or post on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, any of that lot, just use our hashtag, which is hashtag Princess Trust Awards. The Princess Trust themselves have done exactly that. And there it is. You can read it yourself. Goodwill Ambassadors Anton Deck don't just host our Princess Trust Awards. They also run their Making It in Media program, equipping young people with skills and industry knowledge. Lovely photo, what a lovely photo. Denise, our founder and MD, was delighted to have been invited to attend the Princess Trust Awards today in Drury Lane. Uh, Denise is a Princess Trust ambassador, a very exciting and rewarding role that allows her to share her experiences with young entrepreneurs from across the country. Looking very good there, Denise. Have a great time this afternoon. And here we go. Today's the day. We've just arrived at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane for the Prince's Trust and TK Maxx and HomeSense Awards. Uh, we can't wait to celebrate the achievements of our incredible young people who have not only developed their confidence and skills, but have shown their resilience and determination to succeed. And what a lovely photo that is in the sunshine. Dr. Yasin El Ashrafi Bem uh, has, uh, has posted this afternoon, getting ready for an inspirational event. Uh, the Princess Trust Awards never disappoints. Uh, I can definitely, uh, definitely agree with that, having done this for a few years. Can't believe it's been five years since I won mine. Where has the time gone? Okay, so let's go back to the red carpet now here at the Prince's Trust Awards and Anna is with Kate Garraway. Sorry, with Fern Cotton. And it's our, it's our annual soiree. I know I only see you once a year here. You really must be talking about that. Dick, I know. Must be, we bang a lot of the same drums. I mean, <laughs> we really do, we really do. But it's a new, much like myself, Prince's Trust Ambassador, proudly so. Talk to me, sing about it. What are you here for today? Well, I am here to present an award and to celebrate some amazing young people. I've been an ambassador like you for some time now. And my favorite thing is hearing the stories of how people's lives are genuinely changing. People that felt really unhelped and unseen and unheard who have gone on to do brilliant things and are th thriving, quite frankly. That is such a beautiful thing to see. So I'm gonna talk to as many people as I can I'm going to just watch this ceremony and clap and cheer and celebrate all the brilliant people who are doing amazing things with their lives. We've got some good stories. And as always, you know, anyone that is new to it, they need to bring tissues. It's a tearjerker. It is. We will all be crying in the best possible way. We'll walk out. It would have been a big cathartic, cathartic sort of release. So, yes, tears, laughter, joy, lots of cheering and celebration. And the beauty, I was talking about the Prince's Trust as well, because this is the first year when it's His Majesty, yes. the King. And so the finalists, and are you going to tomorrow? A little, it's a little, it's a little luncheon, a little, a little tea and a meat. Might be, yes. might be popping to BP. Bit of BP. Bit of BP action. I'm not gonna lie, fun. What are you wearing? I haven't actually worked this out yet. I'm terrified. I don't know. I don't know. But what does one wear to such an event? To meet the king of freshly crowned as well. No, I don't know. I don't think I've got anything fancy enough, but I'll dig something out. Same, same. I will, I, I will see you there. And so will the finalists as well, who, I mean, because that's the thing. I mean, His Majesty, we know how much he loves this charity. It's all about him. It's all about the finalists. And today we celebrate for him. We absolutely will be cheering and whooping and celebrating all afternoon. Well, I'll be cheering and whooping you on that stage. So have a good one. Thank you, my darling. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Fern, and thank you, Anna. Now, let's meet some more of our country award winners, this time those from here in England. When he joined the Prince's Trust Team programme, Tom, the Watches of Switzerland group Young Changemaker, was living in supported housing and had recently completed a drug rehabilitation course. Now he uses his experiences to support others through his employment and volunteering. He's done a huge amount for others' well-being and help get them get their lives back on track. Four young people signed up to the Prince's Trust team programme with young Gloucestershire to build their confidence and gain employability skills. Team 218s were not only successful in running a pop-up shop for three weeks, but they also raised money and awareness for Sunflower's Suicide Support, a charity for those bereaved and impacted by suicide. 
Blake dreamed of turning his hobby of cooking into a full-time career, and so he joined the Trust Enterprise course to access support, guidance, and a business mentor. Despite leaving school with no qualifications, he opened the Scran Man in 2020, a food business specializing in American soul food. Sounds amazing. Fumi is L'Oreal Paris rising star. Before joining the Prince's Trust Health and Social Care program, Fumi struggled to see a bright future for herself. After losing her husband before moving from Nigeria to the UK, she felt alone and experienced depression. Now she's secured a job as a healthcare assistant and has a sight set on attending university to study mental health nursing. Experiencing significant trauma at nine years old meant that Ellie struggled to feel positive about going to school. Joining the Prince's Trust Achieve Club helped her become a more mature, confident and engaged student. And now she's studying level two hair and beauty at college. Despite facing significant challenges growing up, and in his education, Florent has made positive steps towards creating a brighter future for himself with the support of the Prince's Trust. After thriving on the team program, he developed his confidence, realized his self-worth, and is now actively seeking employment. And here's Joanna, HomeSense Young Achiever. Congratulations, Joanna. After experiencing poor mental health for over 10 years, Joanna made the decision to reach out to the Prince's Trust. She joined the team program and her life changed forever. Now she's confident, has a willingness to succeed and has secured a full-time role as a junior buyer at an online retailer. Even when life feels limited, you have choices. Join the Prince's Trust for support to help you achieve your next step, whether that's finding a job or starting a business. Give us a call at 0800 842 842 or start a live chat with our team at princes-trust.org.uk for free opportunities. So you can show your support for today's celebrations by getting the word out online. Many of you have been doing that using the hashtag Princes Trust Awards. If you are in the auditorium here, don't forget to tweet your photos and messages so we can share them during this red carpet show. So, talking of socials, it's a nice, uh, easy, smooth way into uh, having a look at what you've been posting. And uh, this young man looks uber smart this afternoon, uh, much smarter than I do. Uh, Red Carpet Day, uh, welcome, sir, to the Prince's Trust Awards. And just one more for now, uh, here's Pete Ferguson, looking extremely suave this afternoon, Pete. Delighted to be at the fabulous Prince's Trust Awards 2023 today. They're an incredible organization, and you can uh, go to the website to check them out. Right, let's go back to the red carpet now and see who's there. It's uh, two of our winners. Forget George Clooney. I mean, forget Stanley Tucci. No offence, chaps, but you won't mind me saying these are the real stars of the show today. These are our Prince's Trust winners, two of them at least, Mortez and Piers. Welcome to the day of your lives, I hope. Oh, thank you so much. We are so excited for it. It's, it's been and now so far, a wonderful day. I'm looking for, forward for the good award. <laughs> How do you feel about going on stage? Oh, excited. I've done a lot of public speaking, so I've got that excitement and happiness. So, so excited for it. Maybe just here. How about you, Piz? Congratulations as well. Here we are. This is all down to you. Do you realize everyone that's here is genuinely here because of you guys, because of what the trust does and who it helps? So don't want to overwhelm you, Piz, but how does that feel? <laughs> Uh, it feels amazing, you know. I got to meet Bugsy Malone, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'm s so happy to be here. You know, like when I was in school doing the Princess Trust, I never would have imagined that, you know, I would be meeting celebrities walking on the red carpet, you know, meeting that and that. It's amazing. Like, like, words can't describe how far I've come from when I started with the Princess Trust. You, it's you guys truly that have done it, and you're the reason that everyone is here. You're the reason why everyone's celebrating today and feeling all really great about themselves, you know. And I guess, you know, just in a, a couple of sentences from you both, you know, what is it about the trust that, that works? What does it actually do for you? Everyone that donates and contributes and works for the trust, you are the people it helps. What does it do for you when you're in that system? Uh, trust gives you support in either the mental health way or just helping you with the, your education journey and such that stuff. So. 
trust is more than a family than just a staff and that we, we, you make staff friends and staff helps you in general your life and having always asking about your step how how as you get far with your dreams and goals so i think trust is a big than just a second chance all about and you, I mean Piers I th you've seen Gareth Southgate yeah. you, you want to go and I want to let you go because this is about you so just quickly what does the trust do for you and then go and see Gareth Southgate um, I think that the best thing about the trust is the people that they employ they know which people are best for young people and can help young people get their f like full of themselves like reach their full potential you know and they work so hard with young people and they do everything for them you do it, you do it, okay? We only tear it up and then you deliver it. Well done, boys. Go and see Gareth Southgate and have a great day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you're yeah. Well done, guys. Everyone's clearly in celebratory mood, and so you should be. Uh, let's continue those celebrations by recognising all of our country winners from Wales this afternoon. Vix had always wanted to be a photographer, but experiencing poor mental health held her back. She joined the Princess Trust Enterprise Programme and learnt about money management, marketing and social media, equipping her with the skills she needed to turn her passion into a business. After joining their school's Achieve Club, pupils from Uskol Meisteg came together to create a sustainable project, recycling and repackaging school uniforms that can be returned to the community for free. The pupils have developed their confidence, gained new skills and are motivated to help others. Here's Laura and Liz. They joined the Princess Trust Enterprise program to learn how to transform their business idea into a reality. Now they're the proud owners of Zero Zero Waste in Newport, South Wales, offering a convenient and affordable way for their community to reduce waste, whilst also supporting the local economy. After struggling at school and becoming a young parent, Olivia believed she'd never have a career she was proud of. She joined the Princess Trust Get Hired program and has now secured a position as a sales assistant at TK Maxx. Losing his dad at a young age affected Corey's behaviour both at home and in school. After transferring schools, he was introduced to the Princess Trust Achieve Club. On the program, he built his confidence and skills and now he's looking to study plumbing at college. After experiencing problems with her mental health, bereavement and responsibilities of being a young carer, Jess lost all hope for her future. Finding the Princess Trust Get Started with Wellbeing course was her turning point. Now she's equipped with strategies to boost her well-being and has undertaken a new role as a young ambassador, inspiring other young people to start something new with the Prince's Trust. So well done to the winners from Wales and all of our other country winners. These winners made the shortlist for today's national awards. Uh, Tyler and Anna are with some of today's winners. So I'm here with Shannon and Court, two of our winners at the Princess Trust Awards 2023. Guys, how does it feel to be walking the red carpet, first of all, Shannon? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, my life is not like this. <laughs> What's it usually like? Um, being a mum, uh, to two little boys, to school run, nursery run, just work life, yeah. Well, it's nice to get doled up and come down, right? Yeah. Uh, is there any familiar faces you're seeing? You're getting starstruck down here? Uh, there's a couple, actually. I think I just saw George Clooney walk by, so there's a familiar face for sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Now, um, uh, what is it? if you could say anything to some people that have helped you on your journey with the Prince's Trust, what would you say? Uh, honestly, thank you. Um, I was in the Army for 15 years in Canada, and then leaving that, the Prince's Trust has a program that helps support veterans. Um, invaluable. Invaluable in choosing a new destination, a new, new idea for how, to, you know, how you're going to spend the next uh, half of your life after leaving the military, it's very hard. Um, Princess Trust was there and uh, wholeheartedly got behind me and gave me a ton of skills that I didn't have and is a big reason why I'm here today. Yeah, so the Princess Trust helps in so many ways, Cora, as you was just mentioning there. Uh, Shannon, what, what, what has the Princess Trust done for you? A lot, it's changed me and my son's lives. Um, my son was born premature um, and I also have a... So it's in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Don't um, like ponder on your mind. Don't sit back and hold back. Just go for it. Get in touch. And help as best as what they can. Guys, yeah. uh, Shannon Court, listen, you're both doled up. You're ready for the awards. It's going to be a great afternoon. Thank you so much for coming down and congratulations as well. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Nice one. Nice one, guys. Hey, perfect. The Princess Trust are so privileged to have such supportive and enthusiastic ambassadors. But you don't have to be of celebrity status to support their work. Kate, what a pleasure. Um, you look phenomenal. You're definitely matching the carpet. You've got the, you got the Princess Trust theme on. You're on brand. Um, so out here today, what, what does it feel like to be out here today celebrating these young people? So wonderful. So lovely. I mean, I know we say it every time we gather, but of course, each time there's a whole new generation of young people that have just flourished under the support of the Princess Trust. And you just get reminded all over again how amazing the work is. And they themselves are inspirational and go back into the Trust and feed on for more. It's fantastic. Now, over one million young people to date is what the Princess Trust has been able to use. But it's, it's thanks to, you know, support and, and help from people like yourself. You did the Palace to Palace. How was that? That was an exciting, um, particularly exciting for my thighs, I think. <laughs> I've just about recovered now. Uh, yeah, I hadn't ridden a bike in years. Said yes, like you do when the Princess Trust asks you to do something. And then realised there's a lot of hills between it. <laughs> <laughs> What, what did you learn? Know, like amazing. it was what, an amazing thing to do. What was like the biggest like tip that you 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 learned along the way? Well, I would say take Ben Shepherd with you because <laughs> he just refused to let me stop. I kept on saying, "Can't get a signal for an Uber," and he was like, "You are not going anywhere, Garraway." And I was so glad I didn't. No, it's amazing. But he had to cycle so slowly that I think he did the ride twice because he was sort of going forward and back along the way. So yeah. I mean, all in all, brilliant thing because so many people who the Prince's Trust has benefit were taking part in that too. So you just see it all come back round. I mean, now being on the other side of it, would you recommend to other people to do the Palace to Palace? Definitely. Are you going to ask me if I'll do it again? I was going to say, yeah. Like, double up with me. We can get a duo bike and we can go back to back. We can do that. Can we do some kind of tandem? Can That'd I go behind so you don't notice I'm not cycling? That is not part of the deal. All right? <laughs> it's not part of the deal. <laughs> uh, no, it is a very special day. I would do it again. I think it's amazing. If I've got the, if I've got the strength. If I could do it once, I could do it twice. Exactly. That's the mentality we love to hear. Um, now, it's a special day celebrating some amazing young people. What are you most looking forward to? Well, Good Morning Britain, I'm here to present the award to that amazing individual, and that's to do with the mentors. And the young people that benefit are extraordinary. And, of course, actually, a lot of that comes from the mentors. Like, when we say a million youngsters have been helped, I often think it's more than that because it spreads out. That individual that's been helped then goes back and helps others. So we're celebrating the work of the mentors who are absolutely vital. Amazing. Kate, listen, you're phenomenal. Thank you for being here. Go and enjoy. Lots of love. Take care. Lots of love. Yes, you could cycle miles and change young lives. Get involved, take part in Palace. Supported by Watches of Switzerland Group and cycle from Buckingham Palace to Windsor Castle on the 1st of October 2023. Plenty of time to train and get ready for it and to get some vital funds in for the Prince's Trust. Sign up to make your miles matter. The power is in your pedals. Or if that sounds too energetic, then there is a way to help both the Prince's Trust and to get your day off to a good start by holding a brilliant breakfast for friends and family. It's between the 9th and 15th of October, and by raising funds to the Prince's Trust, your breakfast could set up a disadvantaged young woman for life with the skills and confidence to find employment. Somebody who hosted a brilliant breakfast herself is out on the red carpet at the moment, and let's go and hear from Holly Willoughby. 
beautiful, matching the carpet. I literally do blend in. I'm just a head and ankles. Can I, can I be honest? I was actually going to wear pretty much the same dress today, I and I'm so happy I have it. Should have done. We would have looked like I don't know, like like uniformed. In the red dress emoji together. Like two of those. I know out of the two of us who would have won with the, with, with the style up. Um, but listen, today it went, so, honestly, it's so lovely to have you here. It's lovely Thank to you. see you. And obviously, you. it's all about the Prince's Trust and the Brilliant Breakfast. So tell, tell us a little bit about the Brilliant Breakfast because there's so many initiatives of we know as ambassadors yeah. that the Trust do and they roll out and they ring up us ambassadors and say, can you please help? So a lot of people watching will go, well, what actually are they? So can you, yeah, yeah, what actually was the Brilliant Breakfast? Also, the Brilliant Breakfast was a lovely idea because obviously, what do we all do in the morning? We all have breakfast. So what was great about it was it was something very simple that everybody does anyway, but it was a really good way of bringing people together over a croissant or a poached egg or whatever you have for breakfast and it was just a way of gathering people together to sort of start up conversations but more importantly raise money and in this case specifically for women so the money here was was then being used to kind of enable women to sort of turn their life around and empower them to go and just lead, lead the life that they that they want to. So it was just a really, yeah, it was just a really lovely idea and I really enjoyed it. And I put out my tablecloth and I did all my table. And oh my God, what, I, I think everyone wants to know what Holly Willoughby's table looks like. I mean, talk, talk me through this. I mean, it was a blue and white gingham checked I, table. I was literally about to go with that. There was sunflowers in a vase. There was lots of pastry. Tell, yeah. tell me there was a chipped plate, and it's like my la my kitchen where there's chip stuff everywhere. I've got three kids. It's like well, two. Yeah. Of course there is. Everything's got chips in it. But but no, it was a lovely. It was just a lovely, simple idea that just brought people together and raised lots of money and made a big difference. So that's what it's all about. Absolutely. And you're presenting an award today. I am presenting an award today. Yes, me and Stanley Tucci, who is around here somewhere, I've are seen Stanley. Stanley's around, and also George Clooney's just arrived. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely just had a moment. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Hulls. I am like, this is a job. I know. I know. Well, we're so lucky. And it is it is lovely to see so many faces, like especially like them, like proper like A-list stars who are coming here tonight to not only support the trust, but just celebrate those young people that against everything, against the odds, have just had that resilience to turn their life around with a little bit of extra support there. Yeah, exactly. So. With the trust, over a million people helped. I mean, the stats speak for themselves. It's the 19th year. No. Like, this has been going for a really long time. So if you think what life would be like without this, it would be very different. So it's a really important day today. It really is. Well, it's so nice to see you and I hope you have a lovely day. Yes, 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 yes. You too. Good to see you. Thanks, Holly, and thanks, Anna, as well. Life is full of choices. Do you spend or save? Should you stay at home or move out? Will you get a job or continue education? Launch a career or start your own business? Whatever your aim, the Prince's Trust is here to help 16 to 30 year olds to achieve their goals. Give us a call at 0800 842 842 or start a live chat with our team at princes-trust.org.uk for free next step support. Let me introduce you to two very, very special lady. Megan, our young ambassador, hello to you. Hi. Absolutely stunning today, by the way. Thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. And Sylvia Lowe, you are a director as well of brand and marketing as well. Hello. hello. <laughs> so, talk to us. What about this new campaign that has been launched? Um, so, yes, the Prince's Trust last year launched a campaign called The Class of Covid. And what we really wanted to set out to do was to um, champion a generation of young people who... Um, have really kind of come of age since the pandemic. They've had the repercussions of their confidence being shot in, in many instances, their education being lost and opportunities being lost. And on top of that, being hit with the cost of living crisis. So we wanted to kind of shine a light on um, the t some of the tough things that young people have been experiencing in the last few years, but also say, in spite of all of that, many, many young people have shown a kind of resilience and a resourcefulness and a creativity that actually makes them amazing and incredibly employable um, so we wanted to create a campaign to kind of shine a light on that and so far about a million people have seen it or got involved with it brilliant um, and i think you'll be hearing a few more stories along those lines probably here today at the awards um, i mean it just goes to show the power of the people so i mean how did you tell then this the story of the class of covid so what we wanted to do was and get kind of really capture emotion because we need to grab audiences attention um, but we also wanted to really authentically tell the lived experience of young people during the last few years and the things they've been through in many instances. So we had Ashley Walters, top boy actor, um, who um, kind of set the scene in a, he made a really galvanising speech to like a, an auditorium of young people. 
talking about the things they've gone through, but also championing this amazing resilience that they've gained. And then we had some Princess Trust young people, people who've been supported by the Trust and gone on to do amazing things, such as Megan. And this is where we bring Megan in. So, Megan, what was your involvement in this? Um, yeah, so um, we just had a, a camera crew and uh, my experience was that um, they were doing the class of COVID. So obviously I met um, Ashley Walters, which was amazing. Uh, but it wasn't just that, it was just important to be chosen uh, to be in this um, so I can show everyone what the Princess Trust um, is like. Um, it was an amazing experience. I mean, I'd, I'd love to ask a question because I bet there are people sitting there right now going, what is the Princess Trust like to be a part of? Oh, I, I can't explain how amazing it is. So uh, with what I went through, I went through little things uh, with education, um, school, um, a back surgery that had to, um, and death when I was younger and stuff. And and when I got older and I got in touch with the Princess Trust, I didn't have a job and they helped me with my dream. They helped me with my confidence, my skills, my CV. Um, I'm originally from Leicester, so they helped me move to London. I've been here ever since and I recent, they recently helped me uh, get the opportunity to work at Great Ormond Street Hospital, which is my dream job. So. Oh, Megan, well, congratulations. and You look stunning. Well done with all of the uh, everything you've been doing with it as well. And just quickly, Sylvia, how can people take part and help out with the class of COVID? So please spread the word go online search class of covid on, on the printer's trust website share our film and if you can donate to help the trust support more young people That's exactly what we need ladies have a fabulous afternoon thank you so much thank you <laughs> well the formalities of today's awards are almost upon us please if you're here in the auditorium find your seat make yourself comfortable and sit down we're getting ready to start now just a little bit, a uh, little bit more from me, uh, particularly on the socials. And here's Louisa Rose Alva Solano Manda. What a lovely name. It's been a while, but thank you at Team Princess Trust for everything you've done and helps me through grime, my mental health and more. More from the socials. Uh, here's Dr. Stuart Lawrence, uh, his official uh, Twitter account. Hello, Stuart. Thanks very much. Lovely photo. And here's Sam. Excited to be part of the Princess Trust Awards 2023. Proud to work alongside such amazing partners and supporting wonderful young people. And you've seen George Clooney on the red carpet. Wow. And the last social for this afternoon. But of course, you can see much more on the actual socials. Unbelievable, says Tom Bradbury, Bradley Sorry, on the red carpet. Almost representing Gatehead Cole and many others this afternoon. Thanks, Adrian. Yeah, look, that has been carnage. Absolute carnage. <laughs> it There's been so many people. So many people. It's been brilliant. And it's literally just us left and some security members, but we need to go inside so the real show can begin. Absolutely. And, of course, once again, a huge congratulations to all of our incredible finalists and winners. We cannot wait to see you celebrated on stage in just a moment. But aside from that, we need to go take our seats. We you do. got the tickets. I don't, and have, I've got the I don't have the tickets. What do you mean you don't have the tickets? You were I'm supposed to have the them in your last... pack. Oh, come right, on. Right, fight, go. Go, 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 go. Just find a seat, any what seat. What do you mean find a seat? You can't just sneak in. Thanks, guys. Brilliant job this afternoon. Sadly, that brings us to the end of our live stream this afternoon. Before we go, a mention for the people who enable us to celebrate today's winners and the work of the Prince's Trust. This award show wouldn't be possible without the support of all the award category sponsors. A massive thank you to all of them and a special thanks to TK Maxx and HomeSense, who for the seventh year are sponsors of the entire award series, including the country finals across the UK leading up to today. If you're here in person, time to take your seats. The awards show is about to start. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of today's celebrations. Everyone is set backstage. The audience is seated, mostly. Well, they should be. Yes, you, sir, just up there. I can see you. Sit yourself down. Uh, so it is time now to say goodbye to our Facebook and YouTube viewers. We hope you've enjoyed watching the build-up to this year's National Princess Trust and TK Maxx and HomeSense Awards.